Hey everyone, Tara from the template team here to bring you a new theme. I just think I was gonna say template, not today. Today we are bringing you this beautiful theme designed by Matter Design Agency. We've teamed up with them to make a really robust theme for Gatsby e-commerce. So basically, uh, this theme has a really great shopping experience page where you can see big, beautiful pictures of the product, a page that lists all the product, product detail pages, shopping cart details. Um, there's a journal in there, an about page. There are really well-designed user account pages with like recent searches. All of these things designed out for you. We've added keyboard functionality in there as well so that you have a really good UX, a really beautiful UI. And now you can add all of the tooling that you like as far as your how you bring in your data with something like he your headless CMS or you know how you do your payment processes. So there are different parts that you can use to customize it for yourself and give you that really great um, DX that you like of the tools that you like in this theme that you don't have to worry about making and designing. So there's a, lit a lot of really great details in this theme. Uh, we're gonna today step through um, how you can make a few changes, but also uh, deploying it to your uh, Netlify account so you can make it live, bring it all to your users, um, and incorporate any Netlify pieces that you like of the platform, like maybe forms or identity, um, and then give you that whole great remote team experience too, since a lot of us are remote right now. But I'm talking a lot, I'm very excited because this one is very pretty. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump in. First we'll take a look at the repo, which is at the netlify-templates org. You can see there's the link for the live site, as well as information of what tools make up this theme and some information about how to set up and deploy this theme for yourself and the project structure, how you can change a few things and an overview of next steps you can take. But let's take a look at the live demo. You can find this at gatsby-ecommerce-theme.netlify.app. So this is an e-commerce site that has a, a front page that has a few information, lots of nice big pictures that click through to the actual shop section, uh, give some product information and images as well as this journal section. And then there is that top header and the footer to every page. So if we take a look at the journal, we have keyboard functionality that lets you um, tab through the navigation on the page as well as the posts and hit enter to go inside of the blog post and take a look at that, uh, which again is something you'll populate with a headless CMS to get your information in there there's even an account page that's not currently hooked up to anything, but we can show you kind of the UI or the, the process, the UX for what this would look like by putting anything in here that is an email address and I think eight length password uh, that will then just take you to this account address setting page. Um, again, you can hook this up with auth um, that of your choosing um, and get that set up so that you can link it to actual accounts. So then we see on the actual product pages, we see different details about each of the products. Um, and then you can actually click the different things. Uh, so it'll change the actual text and the highlighting, but not the actual product. Then you can add it to your bag. You have a little pop-up um, that will let you, you go to the bag or view checkout. And we click there, there's information there, but again, since it's just the theme, these things won't actually add up or change the card or you know set a coupon code to take anything off. And when you hit checkout, it just says, thank you. <laughs> um, so you can click the different areas around the website to see where you can add the functionality you like, like payment, et cetera. So let's go ahead and see how we can make this our own. One of the ways you can do this is going to your dashboard on Netlify, add new site and import or start from a template. Then we have a list of our templates that you can start from, including this lovely e-commerce theme. So if you click use template and then hook up to your wherever your code lives in repos, 
you can then uh, basically clone the project and set a new repo name so that it clones that repo to your um, wherever you hold your code. So for us, it's GitHub. Um, and then it'll take that project and deploy it under your Netlify account. So you see it's published now. Um, if we go to the link that it's given us, we see, hey, there's that theme <laughs> that we were just looking at. Um, and I do wanna show you that uh, this theme also has um, responsiveness properties so that if we squish it down, um, we change into the hamburger menu, we change into some drop down menus, and as you see, when we go on to here, we give some examples of different ways to do the menus, but like, so these filters on here, they're actually not interactive. We're just showing what that would look like. So that's something that you can tie in to your actual product data with your CMS or whatever you use for your data. With that, let's actually go ahead and start making it your own. <laughs> so now you should have uh, the new repo that when we went through the UI, uh, we set the repo name and we made a new repo under your account when you linked to your Git account. So we see under now for me, TZ Manix, I have this theme in here so I can take this link and go ahead and open up my terminal, copy that GitHub link over and git clone the whole theme. And the magic of video editing will happen so fast. <laughs> we go change into that directory and run npm install to get all the dependencies over again so quickly. Thank you, video editing. <laughs> Then we can run the command npm run develop uh, that will run Gatsby develop and get us looking at the code locally. So that means that we can go to um, localhost 8000 and see the actual local version of this running on our computer. So to take a look at the code and make some changes, we'll open it up in VS Code. And you can see here on the left-hand side, the file structure, we have the netlify.toml that will have all your Netlify configurations. And then inside source, you can see there's components and helpers and pages. Inside pages, you can see all the different pages that you can find on the site, including index.js, which is our main page. And in here, there is this container called the hero container. And that will be kind of the main things that you will see on that front page, as well as different containers that if you scroll through, you can recognize the different quotes that you'll see throughout the page. But if we go ahead and make some changes, um, bump this up a little bit, and then head down to that hero component that I talked about. So in here you can see that like those essentials for a cold winter, we see that on that front page set as title. If we go in there and change it to something really fun, like <laughs> check this awesomeness out <laughs> and hit save, it will hot reload and change it on our live version of the site. Same thing for anything kind of that you see on here. So the CTA text is call to action text on that button that now says shop now, now says clickety click. So you can see um, there are some pretty straightforward changes that you can make to customize it yourself. If we look at something like these menus, this is actually in a configuration file, config.json, where if you scroll through, you can see a few different things on here that might look familiar. Um, when we look at the menu that we're looking at now, where we're looking at women all clothing, we can see that they have these different menu labels inside of the header link. So we see there's woman and underneath there is all clothing. So if we see sweatshirts and hoodies there and we change it in the config.json um, and then 
if I actually go ahead and refresh this time so that we go back through to the menu, we hit those drop downs and now you see that change has been made. So there's a few locations where you can customize things and make it your own and basically fill in all the things you want to put your product on this amazing e-commerce theme. Okay, with that, um, you should be able to jump in and make all the changes you want, hook up all of your data, all of the different e-commerce pieces and tools that you like for your DX and get it to your customers so they can see your products and so they can give you monies. <laughs> so happy coding. Cha-ching. <laughs>